Annalise Creates, Annalise Creations. Um, I just got done visiting with Gina Ahrens. She came to visit me. It was a lot of fun. We talked as if we had uh, known each other for years. We laughed. We had a good time. We had lunch. We went shopping, of course. We had to get in our, our shopping, so I thought I'd share my haul with you. Went to uh, took her to my Hobby Lobby in my neighborhood, and she was amazed at how big it is for such a little town that we have here. Um, her city's much bigger. Um, so she was impressed by the size of my Hobby Lobby. So Claudia Rossi, if you're watching this, you know you can come visit me because I got a giant Hobby Lobby you can come visit. Um, come see. So from Hobby Lobby, Gina said I needed eraser pencils. She said they're great to use. So I got some. Um, I guess they're really good for when you're doing faces and there's really little fine details that you need to erase. It's really good to have these. So I got those. And then in the clearance aisle, I always go to, yeah, Gina and I were enablers. We were enabling each other of what we needed to get. So, yeah. So we went to the clearance aisle and I got some little embellishments. You can see them. Got another embellishment. And then I got some ink. Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay Teal Ink. I like teal, some purples and stuff like that, and blues, so I had to have that. And then I went into the children's section, and they have these really cool washi tapes right now that have really sparkly glitter. So I had to get those. And then in the clearance aisle, they had these really good roller doodle um, stamp thingies. It, you can see that? I guess it rolls like this across the paper. And then I got a rubber cement eraser for if you're using a masking medium. Um, this helps to get it off after you've done the masking. you got to remove the masking medium off. And this is what takes it off. Rather than using your fingers, it can be rough on your fingers. And then I needed a refill of my, for my Xyron Creative Station, the refill for the sticky, sticky stuff. So there's that. Then I took her to Tuesday morning because we have a nice big Tuesday morning in my town too. And she was impressed by that. She says hers is really small and it's hard to get in the aisles. Ours is much bigger. So she was really happy about that. And Cindy, uh, Cindy Utter, I wanted to tell you thank you. I forgot to tell you thank you in yesterday's video, um, my blog, to thank you for the water pen you sent me, the water brush. Um, I found another one at Tuesday morning. So I had now have two. And if you need any more, let me know because I can send you some too. They had quite a few left if yours, your Tuesday morning doesn't have it. And I got me some really pretty butterfly napkins that were on clearance. And I got some tapes. Really nice uh, kind of vintage looking tapes. And I've been wanting to try beeswax. It's for um, encaustic stuff. So I found the beads because I know that uh, France Papillon in her last video that she posted, not this past week, I think it was, she had a um, thing where she used the beeswax and she used her heat gun to uh, heat it up. So I wanted to try this. And then Gina had these and said I should get them. And once she figures out how to use them, they're little uh, popsicle sticks, but they're small popsicle sticks. I thought they were really cute, so I had to get those. And Tuesday morning, if you have a Tuesday morning in your town, you need to go over if you want the Adirondack Brights acrylic dabbers. They have them at Tuesday morning. They have quite a few of them. Um, where I found mine was in the scrapbooking area in a little basket. It was kind of hard. They were kind of hidden. And there were more at the end, you know, the end of the aisles and those displays at the end of the aisles. They had some there, too. 
And then I got some scrapbooking paper, smaller ones because I use it for my ATCs. And I, hey, dog, I got, sorry, I have a dog that was after a ball in here, sorry. As you can see, there's my dog in the background. Okay, um, so I got these stamps. And I got another pad of scrapbooking paper. This one Gina found. And she got some too, I think. And she said, I need to have some too. So we were enabling each other because I found some stuff for her and she found some stuff for me. And yeah, so she spent a lot and I spent a lot. Then I found this Tim Holtz Ideology Frosted Film. And I thought it was really pretty cool because I thought I could cut something out using my Silhouette Cameo cutting machine to do something with this. And it's it's frosted, like it looks kind of like frosted glass, like old frosted glass um, bathroom uh, windows that you'd see like in the 1930s, 50s, and 40s, and 50s, and 60s kind of thing. So I thought that would be pretty cool to use it on something too. And then I got this scrapbooking package. I have used this one in the past from Tuesday morning, and I really like it. It's got a lot of, like, cool little papers and letters and stickers and things. So that was what I got, and that was it for now. Um, I probably could have spent more, but, yeah, my husband wouldn't have liked to have gotten, seen how much I, I would have spent if I had <laughs> some control over it. Some. Some. So that's it for now, guys, and I had a really great visit with Gina. She's as really sweet, as sweet as you know her on her videos. She's that way in person, too. She's just a very genuine, nice person, and it was so nice to see her, and I can't wait to go back, go and see, visit her at her house and get to play with her. So, not play with her, but you know what I mean. We get to create our art together. So that's great. See you guys later. Bye.